Hello, welcome to Eagle Eye Opener Global Outreach. I'm Brother Hosanna David. I want to talk about the message that I got from the Lord. It is about programming the world. I was listening to a video of Yuval Noah Harari. I was studying end time events and then I had a vision. In this vision, I saw a village where I actually attended uh, my pastoral school between 2008 to 2011. It's a small village, but there are two things that are very, very significant in this village. It's a small town, not actually a village. It's a small town, not very developed. It is called Emevo. And in this town, we have two notable schools. One is James Welch Grammar School, Emevo. The other one is AICI, Adam Igudo Christian Institute. It is a theological school, it's a university. I saw the signboard of CNN. And you know, when you write a signboard, you need to put the name of the location. And instead of putting USA, the name of the location was MFO. And I was wondering, how could a CNN in MFO, how could a CNN bear the address of a small town like this. But this is what I was told. In that vision, I was told, let me read, CNN plays a crucial role in turning the whole world to a global village. After I heard this, I hesitated and the same voice spoke to me and said, write this message down because it is very important. Let me tell you something. Information is powerful. Have you ever wondered why a lot of people are so serious? A lot of governments, a lot of corporations are so serious about information, censorship. Today, you can't just go on YouTube and say anything. Even if you are making sense, even if what you're saying is right, there are people who are ready to shut you down. They have so much programmed their machines to listen to your, to your words and decide to trace what you are saying and decide to shut you down. There are videos that YouTube actually promotes. I did a video where I talked about the end of the human race, about uh, WEF, what economic forum, the agenda to contaminate everybody's DNA. The first three days, the video got about 152 views. First three days. And after that day, they tampered with the distribution. And to today, uh, that was like three weeks plus ago, See, today, it hasn't gotten more than 6,000. 6,000, it should be like 5,000. How could a video travel so far, go, a video goes viral within three days and it gets up to 152? And then for the remaining three, almost four weeks now, three weeks plus, it hasn't gotten additional views that are up to five to six thousand. This is what is happening. But if it is something that has to do with promoting the left, you will see the video moving very, very freely, getting promoted by YouTube. The CNN I saw, I don't actually believe it is CNN or neither is he trying to change location. But let me try to explain uh, the meaning of what I saw. CNN is a fake news media that the Illuminati, the far left uses, engaged, they, they use this to brainwash the masses. It is a government media and it is used for propaganda. Just look at during the pandemic, 
how the fear they were driving all over the places. It was all about fear, 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 fear. Heighting people's emotions and destabilize people's minds so that they could go for their solution. They were never entertaining any kind of question that does not uh, fall in line with their narratives. This is what the mainstream media stands for. The global village here is the one world government they are trying to promote. And they want to bring the whole governments of this world together as it happened in the time of Babel so that they can have one man that will rule over the whole of humanity. Please let us seek for the truth. And when we find, when we find the truth, let us not sell it. Some of us are too lazy to seek for the truth. Who told you the truth is always found in the surface? It's never in the surface. You have to dig deep. You have to search for information. The, the whole world is under the power of the evil one. If you continue to rely on only the information you see on CNN, on BBC, on mainstream media, on Facebook, I tell you, you will be very, very educated. You will be very, very enlightened, but without the right knowledge. Let us be careful. Let us know that information is powerful. This is one of the reasons the devil tries to hinder the gospel of Jesus Christ, so that people will not hear. So how will people repent if they don't hear the message of, of salvation? This is why the devil pushes a lot of money into fake churches, into the hands of fake prophets, so that they can propagate the false gospel and suppress the truth. Let us know that we are living in the end time. Let's not follow the narratives of the mainstream media. Even till today, upon the fact that some people are dropping dead, some people still believe that there is hope in this injection they are giving to them. They'll believe upon how many warnings children of God have been coming up, have given a lot of warnings, revelations on Igu Ayopuna. Don't take this thing. People are still taking it. They don't care. Because they believe that the mainstream media is telling them the truth. Before I round up this video, let me tell you one thing. I pray that the Lord will open your eyes to see this. The whole world is under the power of the evil one. The God of this world is Satan the devil. The governments of this world is under the control of the devil. It is only those that are led by the Spirit of God that are under God's own control. But we are in this world even though we are not of this world. So you as a believer, don't just believe any narrative, just anything you were told by your government. Everything is going to work together for the introduction of the Antichrist. All the systems just imagine, last year, Nigeria, it's about a year, they just celebrated one year anniversary of the launch of central bank digital uh, currency. And in the US, it's go this year is going to come into effect. They want to look at BRICS. They want to bring everything together. It's going to be digital not cash so that you cannot buy so that you cannot sell just imagine when this revelation was given people were not using paper money they were using coins they were using silver gold to buy and they were even doing trade by butter in some places and the Bible says, you will not be able to buy, you will not be able to sell, except you accept the mark of the beast. 
Everything we work together, everything is going to work together. For the enthronement of the Antichrist, don't follow the systems of this world. Because the systems of this world are corrupt and they must work together for the revelation of the men of sin. Scriptures must be fulfilled. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, feel free to drop it in the comment section. I will go through it. Thank you for watching and for sharing our videos. Thank you for those of you who have been supporting this ministry. May God bless you. If you have not given your life to Christ, please do where to give your life to Christ. It is very, very important. The video I posted before this one actually talked about how close we are um, to the rapture. Jesus Christ told me that we just entered the other side, the side where everything that was spoken of in his word will come to pass. Let us get ourselves ready. The time to be ready is not tomorrow. It is now. Now, not later. Give your life to Jesus Christ. And the Lord God will save you. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do where to subscribe. God bless you. Bye-bye.